An orchestra is a large group of musicians, who play together on varied instruments. It contains sections of string, brass, woodwind, and percussion instruments. Let's study one by one the different sections of the Western Orchestra. The first one is the stringed instruments. These are played by using a bow or by plucking the strings. They are often referred to as the strength of character of the string instruments orchestra. Violin The violin is a string instrument which has four strings and is played with a bow. The strings are usually tuned to the notes G, D, A, and E. The violin is the smallest and highest pitched string instrument typically used in Western music. A person who plays the violin is called a violinist. And it sounds like this. a string instrument that is bowed, plucked, or played with varying techniques. It is slightly larger than a violin and has a lower and deeper sound. And it sounds like this. Cello A cello is a musical instrument with four strings that looks like a large violin. You play the cello with a bow while sitting down and holding it upright between your legs. And it sounds like this. Double bass The double bass, also known simply as the bass, is the largest and lowest pitched bow or plucked string instrument in the modern symphony orchestra. The double bass has a similar structure to the cello. And it sounds like this. Harp is a stringed instrument in which the resonator, or belly, is perpendicular, or nearly so, to the plane of the strings. Each string produces one note, the gradation of string length from short to long corresponding to that from high to low pitch. The resonator is usually of wood or skin. And it sounds like this. Next is the section of woodwind instruments. Woodwind instruments are played by blowing air into their mouthpiece. Mouthpiece is part of the wind instruments which is placed in the mouth of the musician. Clarinet The clarinet has only one reed. It can produce a wide range of low to high notes with versatile sound. And it sounds like this. Saxophone Saxophone is a woodwind instrument but made of brass played with a single reed mouthpiece. 
Its sound is in the middle of the woodwind and brass sections. And it sounds like this. Next is oboe. Oboe uses a double reed to produce sound. The distinct tone quality is associated with pastoral melodies. Its tone is nasal and sad. And it sounds like this. Bassoon Bassoon is the biggest and has the lowest pitch in the woodwind family. It can produce a comic and unique sound, that is why musicians call it as the clown of the orchestra. And it sounds like this. Flute has a high range with full and bright tones. And it sounds like this. Piccolo Piccolo is the smallest woodwind instrument, and it sounds like this. Another section is the brass instruments. Brass instruments have cup-shaped mouthpiece. Tone is produced by blowing through the mouthpiece with the tightly stretched lips. Trumpet Trumpet is the smallest and has the highest pitch in the brass family. And it sounds like this. French horn. French horn has a long length of tubing coiled into a circular shape with flares into a bell at the end. It produces a mellow voice sound and is played by blowing air into its funnel-shaped mouthpiece. And it sounds like this. Tuba Tuba is the biggest and the lowest pitch in the brass family. Sound is produced by vibrating lips into its cup-shaped mouthpiece. And it sounds like this. Trombone Trombone is the only instrument with sliding mechanism that shifts pitch in any key. 
and it sounds like this. And now the last section. The percussion family. Percussion instruments are used to emphasize the rhythms, add excitement to the climatic passages, and provide a variety of special effects. Most of the instruments are struck by hands, with sticks, or with mallets or hammers. Others are shaken or rubbed. Timpani Timpani is usually played in pairs and its sound is produced by striking its drum head with a mallet. It is often called kettle drum because of its shape. And it sounds like this. Bass drum The bass drum is the biggest and has the lowest pitch in the percussion family. Its low and deep sound is produced by striking its head with a stick or mallet. And it sounds like this. Snare drum Snare drum provides a rattling sound in a composition, because of the metal wires attached diagonally at its bottom head. And it sounds like this. Symbols Symbols are pairs of round plate-like instruments clashed together or played by striking them with a beater. And it sounds like this. Xylophone or marimba. This is a percussion instrument consisting of a graduated series of wooden bars, usually sounded by striking with a small wooden hammer or mallet. And it sounds like this. You may now answer the activities. Activity 1. Match the description of instruments in column A, and their names in column B. Put your answers in your notebook. Activity 2. Describe the characteristic sound quality of each of the following instruments in the orchestra. Always keep in mind the following terms in order for you to understand the lesson. Stringed instruments are played by bowing or plucking the strings. String instruments include the violin, viola, cello, and double bass. Woodwind instruments are produced by blowing air through the reed of the mouthpiece. Some of them are the piccolo, flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. Brass instruments are made of brass, metal, or silver alloys. Sounds are produced by blowing air into the mouthpiece. 
The trumpet, tuba, French horn, and trombone are some of the brass instruments of the orchestra. Percussion instruments are played by striking the instruments with a mallet, beater, or sticks. Some instruments are clashed against each other to produce sound. The snare drum, bass drum, cymbals, timpani, and xylophone are some of the percussion instruments in the orchestra. That's all kids I hope you have learned something new. You may now answer the post test. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Put your answer in your notebook. Well done kids! In our environment, each thing produces sounds. You may also make your own improvised instrument which can be made out of wood, metal, cloth, or even rubber or nylon. This concept is called the chance music. Moreover, did you know that here in our community, we have various groups of instruments that are well known for their unique and amazing sounds? Okay, so let's take a look at these pictures. What can you see in the pictures? Both pictures are playing instruments. The first picture is playing basalin, while the second picture is playing rondalia. Let us compare the instruments used by the musicians. In the first picture, they are using drums while in the second picture they are using an, a string instruments so now let us read and understand the different philippine musical ensembles one of the well-known ethnic musical ensembles is basalin it is a maguindanao term for the entire ensemble the latter term meaning an ensemble of loud instruments or music making using a kulinta. It is said that this ensemble had a come to signify an entire Maguindanao and Maranao ensemble of five to six instruments such as kulintanggongs and the traditional ethnic drums. So here are some examples of basalin instruments. We have the kulintanggongs, the ethnic drums, and the kujok. The second one is the rondalia. During the time of Spanish colonization, the Spaniards introduced orchestra. Filipinos were taught how to play the instruments like the violin, cello, double bass, guitar, and etc. Learned Filipinos later grouped together and formed rondalia. The original instruments like violin, cello, and viola later gave way to the banduria, loud, and octavina, with a guitar and double bass as accompaniments. This group was commissioned to play for, for the then popular zarzuela, an operatic musicali. The rondalia was at times referred to as Filipino Orchestra or Compasa, which means native string dance. Here are some examples of rondalia instruments. So we have guitar, cello, banduria, loud, and octavina. So they are actually a group of string instruments. 
The third one is the Drum and Lyre Corps. In the Philippines, a drum and lyre group is a marching ensemble consisting of strictly percussion instruments and a color guard section. The drum and lyre corps originated in the Philippines as an economical alternative to regular brass bands or a drum and bagel corps. The instrumentation of a drum and lyre corps consists of a typical marching band, which is the snare, tenor, and bass drums and cymbals with the bell lyre section. So here are examples of a drum and lyre corpse instrument. We have the bass drum, the snare drum, xylophone, cymbals, and tenor drums. The fourth is the pangkat kawayan. It is popularly known as the singing bamboos of the Philippines. It is an orchestra that plays music using non-traditional bamboo instruments like angklung, bumbong, kalatok, kalagong, panpipes, kiskis, and other non-traditional bamboo instruments. It is founded in 1966 and composed of young students who are selected from Quezon City and Manila schools. Here are some examples of pangkat kawayan instruments. We have the kalatok, kiskis, bumbong, angklung, and the panpipes. Now, let's... Let's have a brief introduction. What is dynamic in music? Dynamic is the degree of loudness and softness of sound. We express our emotions in many ways. We express it using our voice. The volume of our voice could express our sadness, happiness, or anger. A soft voice shows the more positive emotions. The word dynamics refers to the loudness or softness of music. Composers put little words oftentimes little Italian words and symbols, on the music to tell us how loud or soft to play. Why Italian? Well, history. Anyways, we call these dynamic terms, or musical terms, the most important of which are piano and forte. Piano means play softly or quietly, whereas forte means to play loudly. If we double up the letters, we get pianissimo and fortissimo. Double the letters and you double the effect. Pianissimo means to play very soft and fortissimo means to play very loud. If we tack on an M, we get mezzo piano and mezzo forte. Play moderately soft and moderately loud. Think M for mezzo and M for moderate. And there you have it, in order of softest to loudest, we have pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, and fortissimo. At this stage, I'd like to point out that this thing isn't really called a piano. That's just its nickname. Its proper name is the piano forte. Given our newly acquired knowledge of dynamics, any ideas as to why it was given that name? Now, jumping from piano to forte produces a cool effect. But like sometimes a gradual change in volume is needed. A gradual increase in volume over time is called a crescendo, notated like this or this and the gradual decrease in volume over time is called a decrescendo, or diminuendo, notated like this or this.
Try to do the activity. Study the song Climb Every Mountain. Identify the dynamics symbols used. Write your answer in your notebook. Always keep in mind the following terms in order for you to understand the lesson. Dynamics means how quietly or loudly a piece of music should be played. Dynamics are an important way of conveying the mood of a piece, and your use of dynamics is a marked element of your performance. Composers use dynamics to change the mood. You may now answer the post test. Give the English meaning of the following dynamic symbols in music. Let's have a brief introduction. Do you know that tempo and dynamics are two other elements in music? These musical elements help better express the different mood and messages of musical composition. What is dynamics? Dynamics in music pertains to the different levels of volume, loudness, and softness in music. This is an important quality, because it helps bring out the expression and emotion in a musical composition. The levels of volume may range from very soft to very loud, with several levels in between. Very softly is used as a direction in music or pianissimo. Loud or forte. Very loud or fortissimo. Moderately loud or mezzo forte. Take a look on this illustration below.
after knowing the dynamic symbols and their meaning, try to do the activity. Direction, perform the song, Mugtanimai Masaya, then observe the dynamic symbols being used. Try to record your song with accompaniment, then post your output in our Facebook group. Good luck kids! Magtanim ay masaya, lahat ay maligaya. Kataway masisigla, hirap di alintana. Masaya ang magtanim, maraming aanihin. Halina sa bukirin at ating pagyamanin. Always keep in mind the following terms in order for you to understand the lesson. Dynamics refer to the degree of loudness and softness of sound. A musical piece or song can have different dynamic levels. Dynamic can make a musical piece of a song more interesting and dramatic. The dynamic markings triple P, double P, single P, and MP, comprise the soft dynamic levels. The triple F, double F, single F, and MF, comprise the loud dynamic levels. This dynamic marking, means to gradually decrease in volume. The dynamic marking like this, means to gradually increase in volume. You may now answer the post test. Direction, identify the symbols of the given dynamic. Write your answers on your paper. watching.